Okay, I just want to share with you some experience with uh, some uh, transfers uh, of uh, files uh, uh, between uh, all the uh, units uh, 1541 for Commodore 64 and uh, the PC. So, uh, first of all, you, can, you have to choose uh, some uh, interface to transfer your file. And uh, my interface is this uh, XA1541. Uh, LPT uh, cable that I build by myself, but you can uh, order them on eBay. The thing, is, the problem is that you need uh, old computer with a L LPT port. You cannot use a computer with uh, uh, adapter uh, from USB to LPT since this is not uh, compatible. So you need uh, an old computer. Uh, you have to set uh, on the on the BIOS uh, some options that I'm going to show you. Okay, the options that I had to uh, set in the BIOS of the computer. Uh, I don't know if uh, I can say BIOS or BIOS. No, I say BIOS uh, for the XA1541 cable are this. So this is the address of the port. This is the uh, modality, so ACP plus APP, and uh, that's it. So you 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 have to be sure that your cable is uh, compatible, and especially sorry, your interface uh, port LPT is compatible with the cable, and you can do that uh, by running a software. Now I should show. So you. one way to test your if your hardware is compatible is uh, a bit controversial because uh, in my experience. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know why. However, is this program x1541tst.x, and you just need to put your to shorten this, the last two pin of the LPT port, and when you run it, it can it may detect that you are compatible. Uh, however, uh, sometimes uh, it says that I am not compatible. Uh, what I suggest is, is to shut down your machine, plug the, the shortens uh, here, and then uh, boot uh, your DOS, and then run the program, because o otherwise you can have uh, false uh, negative. So it, it can say to you, you are not compatible, while instead you are compatible. I don't know why. There is another way to test uh, if uh, your drive is compatible, but before we discuss it, uh, uh, please make sure that uh, the drive, the old drive, uh, must be connected and on before you power on your computer. So we are going to do that. Okay, so the drive is on and uh, it is connected uh, to the main board, and we can now power on the PC. Okay. You have some activity when you power, power on the PC, or oh, you should have it. So, uh, another false negative is given by XE detect, detect because uh, in my case uh, you cannot find anything, but I'm pretty sure that my cable works. Uh, so another solution can be in order to uh, know if you are compatible to use uh, XG test. So now remember, sorry if, if I'm shaking my camera but I am using left hand. Okay, with the XC test uh, you pressing T you detect uh, modes, port modes, with letter B I am selecting my cable XA1541 and then in order because I have this uh, answer here uh, it means that uh, my cable is working otherwise if my cable is not connected uh, now I'm not going to disconnect it because uh, uh, as you know you cannot uh, connect and disconnect so it's, it's safer if you don't do that uh, if the machine is on. Uh, however, if the cable is not connected, you don't have this part. You just have the... So th this is the the data... F I, I suppose that this is the data from the PC to the drive. This is the data that is going 
back. So if you play with the keys, pressing A, you have answer here. I, I don't know what I am doing, I'm just uh, pressing, but in all, since you have these, your cable is probably working. And then, in order to uh, transfer files, uh, you, and you can even use this software to uh, check the compatibility, is Star Commander. Star Commander uh, is this software. Uh, you have some activity here because uh, it is uh, searching for the drive. Uh, okay, read error because I, I don't have any floppy. Uh, Star Commander is pretty uh, easy to transfer from and to the drive. So if you hit Alt F2, you can choose on the right side what, what is the drive that you want. I am using the 8. You have activity and you obtain the, the file on the, on the right. Uh, if you want to copy an image from the hard disk to the drive, you simply with the key tab, you go on the left, uh, on the left side and then you hit uh, Alt and then Commands and then Copy Disk. Uh, if you want to copy a disk... Ah, it's not working. Command. Ah, you have to select the disk before. Okay, sorry. You select, you select the image of the disk on the left, then commands, copy disk, and then you say, okay, I want on the drive number 8, uh, you probably want to uh, hit with space uh, this option, format destination disk, and then you say copy, and uh, your, your image will be transferred uh, to the real uh, disk here. Uh, to do the opposite, so to copy from the disk to the uh, computer, you uh, go on the right uh, tab uh, column with the tab key, and then you do uh, Alt, Command, Copy Disk, and then you have to simply choose a name for your for your image, and that's all. So another uh, another uh, thing that I would like to share with you is the following thing that happened to me. I was trying to convert uh, from very old floppy to uh, hard disk, and then my drive suddenly, actually my drives, all the four drives stopped working uh, because I, I I didn't know why, but. Uh, the problem was a read error problem, so apparently my, my drives was broken and I was starting to blame my cable uh, that, uh, oh my god, uh, my, my, my units are burned instead the problem was simply that uh, I had this very old floppy that was very very dirty here maybe you cannot see that, but you have a lot of... Uh, lot of uh, yeah, you can see here a lot of mug, a lot of uh, dirty here and this dirty was transferred on the head of the drive so I, have, I had to open the drive, clean them with alcohol put some grease uh, on the mechanism and then the drive uh, was working again now, one thing that you can do if you have a very precious uh, floppy disk with your data uh, is to clean directly the floppy disk with some water actually you should use uh, distilled water and uh, my, what I did it uh, was, is, is the following thing. You put some water uh, in this uh, cotton uh, stick uh, and then you simply clean the surface with water. You should use distilled water but I am, I'm using uh, uh, normal water because uh, I think the water in my, in my area is not so hard. And then you have to dry it very very well. I am using the other side of the cotton stick and after that you have to turn turn the disc a bit and always check with the light uh, with the sunlight uh, if your surface is clean so this operation is safe <coughs> I, I did it it worked and I was able to read again some discs that was uh, very very dirty so I think uh, that's all bye that I want to underline is that uh, to clean uh, uh, inside this machine uh, is uh, very easy, so you have not to be scared to, to open them 
so you just need to be careful about uh, remembering what are the uh, the direction of the socket that you pull out sorry if uh, <coughs> I don't show you a video but you can find the other video however it's very very easy because you just need to pull this off put out uh, the dust and then use uh, uh, alcohol to clean the lens and uh, you, you can put some grease but it, uh, some grease on, on the where the mechanism moves but it's very it's very easy and it solved my problem so try it if you have read the problems ah okay just two more things uh, the I, I am using a free dos that you can download uh, from internet uh, with a Celeron but just to say that you have not to use the original uh, DOS but you have to you, you can use the free DOS and then another thing is that uh, you can uh, in order to clean the, the floppy you can uh, refer to this uh, uh, scheme that you can find so the I simply search for Commodore 64 track sector and uh, you, you can obtain uh, with precision the position of the tracks and, and the sectors uh, in your disk uh, taking as reference this hole that you can find here so you just need to rotate the disk until you find the, the hole uh, inside uh, the disk okay you, you I think you understand the problem I'm not doing that and uh, since uh, the uh, software that you use so star uh, commander tell, tells you what are the sectors and the tracks that are uh, uh, having errors you can easily find them with this, this scheme and clean the appropriate sector here so it, it just helps you to find what are the dirty uh, tracks and sectors in your disk